Hola amigos, how are you? Here with my friends, Hi. David Hi. and Saul. How are you Hello. guys? Very well. Hello. And well, we are in a in the other program of Hola Rocky Point. And well, we are just uh, trying to bring you the best events and news about Rocky Point. And well, we are discovering several things. And what do you think about this week? David, we've been doing something was, interesting things. It was very interesting this whole weekend. Uh, we had a lot of events happening, a lot of good things happening with the kids, with the adults, and, and uh, a lot of fun activities, too, um, everywhere. And I want to say hello to my dear friend, Berta Lidia Castro, uh, which is uh, one of the people that make uh, the one of the best works in Rocky Point. She is the manager on the pirate ship okay. and uh, she cooks really good um Balboa's restaurant that is one of the places uh -huh. that you need to go and hello uh, Lily uh, her, her name is Lily Castro well this is her name Hola, uh, Lily for the Castro. friends mm -hmm. this is my friend David Lily and well so how has been your your week this week pretty great you know the weather is fantastic here in Peñasco so I can't complain and it's just been a really really smooth week Really looking forward to the weekend. And well, uh, starting with the program, uh, well, we're going to start with the uh, weather. And uh, thank you, Martin, for uh, have, uh, give us all the information that we need. And then, uh, well, this is a part of our work. We are just uh, renting our drunk or whatever you need for your your videos right as, as you can see all the video that is happening you can have that same kind of video for your business if you're interested in um, us coming over and, and helping you out with that just let us know we'll be happy to do it <laughs> look my friend Lily Castro is in Cancun lucky her oh, my <laughs> and then uh, well we're gonna have the weather for Rocky Point for this weekend because we have really interesting upcoming events this Saturday then please help. Yeah, in regards to the weather, we're going to be a little bit warmer than last week with today being in the higher 70s and it gonna drop to in the mid 50s. Tomorrow will be a little bit of a windy day and a little bit of a warm day, so it'll be good to go out. It's gonna be in the mid 75s and in the low 50s in the nighttime. And that trend is gonna continue to the end of the week, cooling down on Sunday, being in the high 60s and dropping down to the low 50s so it's gonna be pretty great weather if you're asking me this is this is paradise weather exactly cool. this is the time to come to uh, Peñasco and really take advantage of all the things that we have for you and I actually I want to say hello to my friends of uh, Pancho Villa that is one of the uh, the charters that can take you fishing or or you can, can take you to the oyster farms or many other kind of tours and well uh, we've been talking about this before with my friends of Pancho Villa, and well, you know that you're you will be really, uh, we, we will be really glad to have you here on the program anytime you want to come. Yeah. And well, uh, also is Jamie Trash. He has another uh, charter that is taking you also to to the whale watching that we have right. uh, that giant friends in our sea in this moment. And, and this is the time for, for that uh, happening here in Peñasco, right? Right. Uh, actually, we started one week ago. On, mm -hmm. on Sunday of two weeks ago, uh, we started the season. Okay. Yeah, so there's already been reports, at least from the, from the people that are fishing and from boaters out there, that they have seen whales and, and dolphins and all type of, of marine life. So it's, 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 it's the moment right now. Actually, to, to you commented me that you want to, to see the, the whale, right? Yeah, I actually did get the chance to go recently, and I was able to get a glimpse of, of, a, of, two, of two whales that were there in a group, um, other whales on the side as well, but it was pretty active, to be honest, and what surprised me the most is it was just a mile or two right off the, the coast. It's, they're not really far. They like the shallow water when they're nursing their young, so it's really, it's really good to get out there and, and get to see that. You're a fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> And well, uh, thank you all. Let uh, let us know where are you watching, where are you watching from, and what else. We need to tell you that if you want to go to the Pinacate, uh, well, we have a, a 
us. Uh, we, you, you can book with us and we can take you with the best providers uh, to take you to those wonderful places that we have just really close from Rocky Point. And the Pinacate is a, a preserve that is very close to here. And we hope that now that a lot of people are going to be able to see that it's very close to here. It's kind of like a It's in a situation where some people don't need to see it close, you know. But uh, right now, uh, we hope that we can be able to see it. Uh, we also know the route that we actually take. wheel or something like that and we're so ready because there's not a lot of traffic on that side yes so. definitely so you can get that booked with us at any time you can reach out to us on any of our social media outlets and we can get you booked with any of the sponsors and if there's anything you know about the arizona sunsets the sunsets of the desert that they're absolutely breathtaking and combine that with the ocean you get you get a wonderful landscape exactly with the desert and the ocean coming together Actually, it's a perfect combination. Yeah, I would agree. And, re and well, sometimes we can go camping, but that's it. That's it. Okay. And actually, I I gonna try to give some tours by myself, but the yeah. we we need to create some group, and uh, we're planning to take that group and and travel to to those places that are just gonna be fun. Yeah. And well, thank you to Kay that is watching us also. Thank you all you guys for for being aware that you are that what are we doing, and we're gonna have a pause and we're gonna we start with a uh, whale watching, and uh, that we have uh, a big video from the OCD that uh, show us uh, well what wonderful is to experience this place the whale. Okay, so we have some good time. the whale watching video as you guys have seen and it is the season right now to go out and check out these whales at this moment so come out and reach out to us or you can come out here and preserve yourself or we can do it with uh you can do it through us on through here but yeah it's it's absolutely beautiful to be able to get that chance to go out and see those whales to to experience nature and its natural habitat and 
and then go and take a swim afterwards. If you'd we like. have a lot of people connected from Phoenix, so we invite you guys to come out and let us know when you're here. We can definitely book your trip if you're interested in uh, whale watching or any of the other uh, uh, places that we have here that you can visit. Just let us know and we'll be happy to work with you and get you the best deals for anything that is happening here in, in uh, Puerto Peñasco. So just uh, come on out, uh, take the, the drive, it's a very short drive. So we can definitely work with you to get you the best deals here in, uh, in Rochester. Well, yes, uh, we can work with the different providers that are down all can fit to your needs. And well, uh, for us, it's just a pleasure to just recommend the best ones in town. Definitely. Then if you want to come and you want some information about what's going on in the city, well, this is the best place. You, we, we have several tools to get in touch. We have a WhatsApp uh, phone. We have a messenger on, on, the, on the page. Well, we have a phone number also. Then if you want to create one unique experience with the different activities that we have in town, well, just call us and we will make it your, your schedule for have uh, the best days that you could have in Rockyport. Definitely, and, and also if you're planning on some kind of trip where you're going to be uh, uh, coming to Rocky Point and would like for your whole family to go on a trip, let us know. We can definitely help you with that and book it so that you have a wonderful time and enjoy all these things that we've been uh, having here, like whale watching, the uh, different places, the uh, Pinacate, the sand dunes, and every everything that is happening here. We have also an oyster farm. Um, it's a lot of things to, to do here in Rocky Point. And right now, it's a lot of those things are better because of the weather. When it's a little hotter, it's, it might take a, a more energy to, mm -hmm. to do it, but they, you can also do it. So think about that next time you are thinking about coming to Rocky Point. Okay. And uh, well, uh, another thing that we just had last week uh, that I want to share with you is that it was a terrific success, the baseball clinic. Peñasco in Las Grandes Ligas, and well, could you please contact someone to say me yes, uh, Because we have the press conference on, on, on Friday, and it was at, the, at La Arena 13 that uh, uh, led us their facilities uh, to have this uh, MLBX former players. And uh, it was a really good ambience. Everybody was ready to, uh, to just wait to, to the Saturday to go and enjoy with the little kids the fundamentals of baseball. And for me, it's always a pleasure to, to have, to participate with, with as a sponsor, uh, with the communication, or helping them to have uh, other sponsorships. For example, uh, uh, the Manis Beach Club uh, provide a dinner, and uh, Regis 812 provide the burritos for for breakfast, and th then you can we can watch some of the uh, drone images that we took there uh, of the kids. It were more than 150 kids enjoying with wow. with uh, some uh, stars of the MLB uh, and learning from them. It's kind of hey, those guys are here with us. Maybe one day we can be there uh, playing baseball uh, with, with the professionals. Uh, it was just amazing. What do you think? Yeah, it was awesome. Everybody, everybody was there having a great time. All the kids uh, uh, learning the uh, techniques and everything from the pros. I mean, people that have been playing for a long time. Some of them uh, have retired, from what I understand. But all of them are part of uh, uh, at one point or or right now they are playing in the uh, big leagues. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic to have the community all come together as you were saying that there was different people bringing in different foods and a lot of efforts being coordinated so that this can get executed for these kids to learn so I think that's just one thing that a lot of people love about Peñasco as well is that they see a strong sense of community here and that's one thing that that is very apparent especially since I've came out here that the community does strive to be really connected together so it's really great to see that being shown and having some some professional players coming out and showing them what they got actually the baseball in rocky point is something really good really big uh, actu actually 10 years ago when i just arrived to rocky point it was e bigger than now uh, because other sports are are earning more more fans mm -hmm. but peñasco and all the northwestern mexico it's 
baseball fields, and baseball land. Everybody loves baseball. And well, we can see on the images uh, the coaches at, at, at Manis at the end, but we can just don't comment about all the sponsorships that the clinic had. One of the sponsorships, of course, is Rocky Point Guide that we've been helping on the promotion of the event and well, just get making some of the works to to give information to other other platforms, digital mm -hmm. platforms. Mm -hmm. And well, we have this, this, these videos also. And well, we have a little interview with one of the engines of this uh, clinic that is uh, our friend, uh, Pete Hartman, former pitcher, left-handed. Um, please, Martin, uh, uh, play the, the interview. <laughs> Hello amigos, here we are with Pete Hartman. It's one of the engines that make possible this uh, clinic in Rocky Point every year in Puerto Peñasco. Uh, Puerto Peñasco en las Grandes Ligas for 12 times, 12 veces. And well, this is so amazing that we've been uh, seeing how this clinic is renewed year by year and well, trying to do more each year. And well, one of the engines, as already said, is because you help in a, in different ways. Uh, well, supported with a great team. Well, thanks, Leon, for having me, and it's always a pleasure coming down here. This is wonderful. We've been doing this for 12 years, um, and every year it gets bigger and better. And we have sponsors all over that are helping us out. If it wasn't for the sponsors in the city of Puerto Penasco, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. And what we are doing is actually giving back to the community and helping these kids out understanding that they can actually follow their dreams with playing youth sports and whether it's baseball or soccer or swimming but we do a baseball clinic and we did a baseball clinic today for three hours it was phenomenal kids had smiles on their faces they're learning the correct fundamentals and the aspects of the game on how to go about the way so they can get to the next level and it, again it, it just it's awesome coming down here and we're, we look forward to it every year well, and one of the most important things that we can realize when you are training those, those kids is the kids can believe that they can do something like you or any other member of the players, former players and coaches that comes every year. And what do you feel when you see those faces that, hey, this guy play on Major League Baseball and right now is just teaching me how to be like he? Well, what we try to do is just tell them uh, my story is I was a late bloomer. I was the backup to the backup in high school, and I. But I, I just wanted to play the game of baseball. It was just so much fun, and I didn't get caught up in the business aspect of it. I just wanted to play, and I was a left-handed pitcher, and I ended up, you know, playing for 15 years all over the world. So, with that being said, it wasn't handed to me. I had to work hard every year because I was not that stud. I was the guy, the blue-collar guy, that wanted to get his his uniform dirty and he wanted to actually like keep on playing after practice and that's how you get better and the only thing about that is that you just consistently doing reps and reps and reps and become consistent in the game of baseball because it is a failing sport but I think that's why we like the challenge. Okay well uh, it's just a little interview because uh, well they need the uh, deserve rest after the clinic and well I don't know if you want to add something at the interview. Well, again, thank you, Puerto Penasco. Thank you, the city of Puerto Penasco. Thank you, all the sponsors, for just backing us up and believing in what we do because we're so passionate about the game. We just love giving back to the community and helping these kids understand that there are dreams available out there. And we bring down donated baseball. <laughs> was the, the interview with Pete that, well, as his name says, Hartman. Hartman. Uh, he was uh, one of the uh, 
of the guys who who started with this these clinics 12 years ago then it's a long time work already and i want to say hello to maria Ivier garcia that was one of the people that was uh, sponsoring and helping a lot in this uh, mm -hmm. in this clinic and she was not uh, she how can we say after the stage well she was not she was in the background and the back uh, on the back mm -hmm. but it was the biggest help that anyone could could have uh well rick Busa uh, is one of the people that started this 12 years ago uh but without the sponsors and without the help of these people that is uh, is on the background uh, this this event wouldn't be the same thing and so they they have been doing it for 12 years now a mm -hmm. long time so. and That's i think that we could have some surprises for this year but i don't want to let <laughs> well, I don't want to say anything until we have something for sure. Definitely. But we want but to work But it's definitely more. happening again next year, so you, or during the year. Uh, so just be uh, aware that it's happening, so you can join and, and come in and see what actually happens on that day. Okay, well, uh, that's uh, about the baseball, uh, the baseball event that we had last year, the last, last week. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. And uh, actually, we had basketball. Yes. That. And it was a really important event. You, you've been there. Definitely, yeah. It was, it was awesome. It was a, a big game. I actually, we were transmitting live uh, a lot of uh, what was happening there. So uh, it was, it was uh, something. Do we have video on that, I think? Yes, so? I think we, we have video about that. But uh, it's an interview. We're going to see the oh, interview. Okay. It's, with, it's, it's one of the things that I want to, to talk about. Uh, this event is not something little because uh, the people that came it, it was the players that just left the university to try to start uh, a career a career on a professional, on, on professional. Uh, and we had many people viewing the games from all the agents around the world wow. then we I didn't know until I, I I have a talk with the guy who brought the the event uh, when I, when, I, when I understood what we've been broadcasting, I said, well, it's a shame that we didn't promote it more mm -hmm. because he only hired, hired us to stream the game, mm -hmm. not to promote it. Yeah. Then, uh, but he, he's, he's planning to bring again the, the, this event. And well, what we, we have to watch this interview that it was one, when one of those promoters. Please, Martin. We're still here, amigos, with Sean Hall, that is another agent, another promoter mm -hmm. for the guys that, well, played in this really interesting weekend in Rocky Point that we are uh, maybe watching some of the future stars in many leagues. Uh, Absolutely. In many places around the world. And what do you think about this event that we just, just finished this uh, beautiful Sunday in Rocky mm -hmm. Point? And what do you think about the place to keep doing these events often? Well, first off, Rocky Point is a very beautiful place. Uh, I see it's very family oriented. Uh, very nice. It's a nice climate. I come from the Midwest, so it's snowing in the Midwest. Yes, uh, I know the yeah, it's, it's Packers games. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of Packers games. Um, but yeah, it's a great place, and the showcase was absolutely uh, amazing. We had a lot of big time athletes that will be future stars in different leagues coming up. Okay, well. Do you want to add something to your comments in this interview? Uh, I don't know. What do you think about uh, the, the the places that you stay, or just the city? The city is very nice. Uh, it's very hospitable. Everybody uh, was really kind, and you know we don't know how to speak Spanish and things, but they really worked with us here. So again, it's a very nice place, and I'll, I'll be I'll be trying to come back soon. Okay, coach. Thank you for thank you for for, for being here and for bringing this talent because it was a great show. My pleasure, my pleasure. Well, guys, well, this was the interview with Mr. Holt that, uh, well, he came from Wisconsin. He was a professional promoter. And uh, well, during the streaming, we had many, many comments from people that was watching all around the world. And 
uh, it could be also a great event for the Mexican leagues because the base of the most of the Mexican teams are the, the, the American players. Then uh, if we can have this kind of events periodically, will be something really interesting for, for Rocky Point because that could bring people from all the country and from many other countries maybe. I don't know, but well, I, I think that it's something that we need to, to do again. And definitely we need to uh, get more people locally involved on that as well to get the kids involved so that they can uh, have a chance to look, look at uh, these players or just watch them play. Because it was, it was amazing. It was a real game. I, I was uh, impressed. I thought it was just somebody playing here locally when I got there. It's like a big event. And all those promoters, I mean, they were watching them to see if they, they will recruit them for their uh, team. And actually, the tournament, it was a kind of tournament, but it was not really a tournament because uh, the, the goal of the event was look the 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 players to promote promote the play, players, but promote no. themselves mm -hmm. as, as players look the their skills and mm -hmm. look them on the on the courts but on the first day uh, we had three games and in those three games the local players played oh, right. yeah because mm -hmm. uh, the guy who brought the event kn knew some of the players locally mm -hmm. then uh, they, they he gave the chance to make it was four three th three teams it were three teams and in the three teams, they select some of the locals and, and they made, uh, well, their selection. Mm -hmm. And in the last day, just played the Americans. But it was so, so amazing. Uh, high level basketball games. Yeah, definitely. And well, now we are arriving to the foodies segment, <laughs> exploring Rocky Point. Definitely. And well, that's. That's your segment. We are going to go on um, break or no? Well, do we have a break? No, go directly. We're Let's going to go to, to Giuseppe's. Well, this is yeah. your turn. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, this is my favorite part. And, and well, the favorite part is when I'm there at the different uh, restaurants trying out the food and, and really um, looking at what they're doing and making a difference here in, in, um, in Rocky Point. Uh, uh, this place is uh, 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 kind of like a, a very colorful place. You go in there and you get this sense of uh, um, like home, home uh, scene and, and the food. As you can see, all the um, pastries they have there, uh, the coffee was great too. On top of everything else, we, uh, uh, we had a breakfast. It's a uh, uh, breakfast, so I had a, uh, some kind of a three meat omelet and you can see on there and all the food is uh, prepared there when you order it nothing is uh, frozen so they they um, the service was great I mean it was uh, awesome when we were there the owners uh, are there great people and and they uh, uh, come out and, and greet you and, and make sure that you have a, a, a good time while you're eating this wonderful food. So next time you're in Rocky Point or if you're, make sure you visit this uh, place uh, uh, and really uh, try out their different foods and different uh, uh, menus. They have a different menu. They have a breakfast lasagna. I mean, it's something that I was like, really? You won't, you probably won't see it anywhere else, but it's a lot of things that uh, they have. And, and please let them know that we are, are inviting you to go there when you get there. And let them know that uh, uh, Ola Rocky Point is the one that told you about it. So it's a, a, a great place, great food, and of course, great service. So next time, try it out. Actually, Just yes, I, I know the place for, 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 I don't know, years. Years. Yes, but uh, I started going when, when uh, I, I, I met the, the chef, that is Cipriano, mm -hmm. and he became my friend. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I realized that he have a really good touch on, on the cuisine, but the surface with Pedro is also something amazing. Yeah, and the whole, the whole atmosphere is very uh, welcoming and, and also, like you said, I mean, the chef came out and he was uh, uh, just making sure that everything was perfect. Uh, it's amazing. So 
Giuseppe's uh, is uh, a great place. So hopefully you can go visit it next time you're here or if you live here locally, try them out if you haven't so yet. And well, uh, another upcoming event that this is this Saturday and it's also talking about food is uh, the Seafood Fest. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Ooh. So and that's happening this Saturday. So make sure that uh, if you're in town or planning on coming down, that you go by um, Plaza del Camarón or the Shrimp Plaza, because that's what is going to be happening. A lot of uh, things, uh, food, uh, music, and a lot of uh, other activities happening there. And I believe we have uh, uh, an uh, interview. Yes, we have an interview with uh, Sammy Kisiker, which is one of the organizers of the Rotary Club. That is a fundraising for have funds for the different programs that they have during the year. Then Martin, please, the video, the interview with Sammy. Hello, amigos. I'm with Sammy Kisiker, uh, that is part of the Rotary Club here in Rocky Point. And well, we're going to talk about uh, an upcoming event that is taking place. Uh, the next Saturday, right? Is uh, February, February, sorry. February first. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving us this interview. Well, thank you for meet right. with us. <laughs> Here we are. We tried to make this interview for a couple of days, but well, we are now together for for have this content for you. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, the organization, mm -hmm. how many stands we're gonna have, and well, all about the event. Okay. So let me, I'll show a little, right? You might see this poster around, especially online. Um, I'm with the, the Puerto Peñasco Rotary Club, the Mar de Peñasco. And uh, this is our third year doing this event. It's a fundraiser that we do for different projects with the Rotary Club to benefit the community of Puerto Peñasco. And we organize this particular event in conjunction with the Mermaids Market. So the Mermaids Market, they have a number of artists a number of artists that have different stands. Um, they're going to have about 30 different artists. And then for restaurants, we have about 20 different food stands. Can um, you give us some names? Well, for the past few years, we have a lot of the same names. Yeah, we don't okay. say it. Don't worry. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a little background noise because the people, well, we are here in a, in event. Uh, but well, keep going. I, I think that we're going to have a good audio. So, so we're going to have some of the <laughs> people that we've had, some of the restaurants that we've had, uh, popular restaurants we've had the past few years. It is a limited spot. We do have a waiting list as well mm -hmm. as far as restaurants because as it's grown, there's a lot more interest and we welcome all of the interest. And unfortunately, we can't get everybody in, but we will have uh, Puesto del Sol, El Tapeo, the Blue Marlin, as well as El Busco, Oyster House, Collins Cantina, Jerry's Banquetes, Maribu, or actually the restaurant, the Mariscos, uh, Tequila Bar as well. We also have a stand this year with Grupo 638, okay. which is a combination of chefs, and, but because they also do a lot of altruistic work here in Puerto Peñasco, it's a great way to have their name out there. We have a woman who does gluten-free pizzas, and we are actually going to have some popcorn as well, as well as desserts and coffee, because a little something to go with the, the seafood theme. Um, Cielito Lindo is another one. We also have a barbecue house, but they have smoked fish dishes because it is a seafood fest, and so we are. Uh, a new restaurant this year that we have is Avocado, and uh, I'm trying to, the students from the UTPP, the culinary students, they have a stand as well, and they also participate by helping out at a number of the spots. In the past, we've also had, we include Capone. Just recently, I did the list of all the different, Ramon's restaurant, La Cocina de Ramon, is going to be there, part of the, six, the Grupo 638, and many more. So we have, uh, and I'm sorry if I forget all of the names right now, but it's a lot of we've, information. Been, uh, we've been uh, confirming as we go, and uh, it, it should be a lot of fun. Okay, uh, well, we're going to have good music all day long, and we'll have excellent seafood. And desserts um, and a perfect ambience. We just wait a perfect weather as well. Exactly. We're hoping for perfect weather, and uh, it looks like it's going to be perfect weather. Maybe a little windy, but uh, not too windy. Just breezy, we'll call it. And we are going to have.
Spice and Music, as well as the Bailes Folkloricos from the Cobar, and the gr uh, group with Mario Mariscal. Mm. And he's been he's been uh, part of this the past three years, or the past two years, and so this year as well. And uh, it's going to be a great time. The food tickets will be available when you get there, as well as raffle tickets. We have probably about 20 different, uh, we have like 75 different raffle prizes, but what we do is we put them together in packages. So if you, and you get to put your tickets in which package you're most interested in, and so there's a better chance of getting something that you want. And uh, it's a really, really fun dynamic and just kind of a good way to get out, have fun, and support the community by supporting local restaurants, support, supporting local artists, as well as supporting the Rotary Club. Okay, this is a perfect way to support Rocky Point, and we're creating bigger events, and well, this is the third uh, festival, right? Mm -hmm. And do you expect to prepare another festival during the year? Well, for our for, for the Rotary Club, I mean, for, we call it the Fish Bowl because it's the Saturday before the Super Bowl, and so our Festival de Mariscos Fish Bowl. And it's a bowl. And the raffle area, you'll see why we call it the Fish Bowl. Okay, well, perfect. Tip jar, uh, tip jar in a couple different places are, are fish bowls. And uh, so this is our our main event as far as the seafood festival, and then with the Rotary Club, we also have a dinner that we do in October, mm -hmm. which is focused on um, raising funds for the Polio Plus program of Rotary International, as well as for opportunities for us to be able to participate in global grants for the community. And so that's something that with the club, then we're able to participate in larger grant opportunities and to help help with uh, bringing in different different organizations that have come and, and partnered with us, for example, to do dental clinics and vision clinics. This week, actually, we're working with some doctors from Arizona, and uh, all of these types of activities help us with those activities. Well, just la uh, one last question, because I think that is really important to the people know. When you do this kind of events, you always give a, uh, a donation for some organization or something like that. Uh, what organization or what are you supporting on this time? Well, this is this is the fundraiser for the Club Rotario de Puerto okay. Peñasco. And so the club, the Rotary Club in Puerto Peñasco does events and activities throughout the year in, in supporting schools, education, health. And so that this is like our fundraiser. So the donation To give money to all those. So that throughout the year we're also able to give back in a lot of different ways. But this is kind of one of our main fundraisers. Well, you know, it's not only for because you're going to enjoy the food, it's because uh, the Rotary Club is always helping the community. And well, do you want to add something else? Um, be sure to save the date, February 1st. Mm -hmm. It's from 10 to 4 in the Plaza del Camarón, which is Shrimp Plaza. It's at the corner of Benito Juarez and Boulevard Fremont. We're looking to have areas where we can indicate for people to park. But even if you park a couple blocks down and walk over, because it is a, it is a really, really fun day of art, music, raffle, and of course, food. Okay, guys, you know, from Sunny Kisiker, and well, I am Leona for Hola Rocky Point. Thank you, guys. Well, well, that, that's information about the uh, event this coming Saturday, right? Yes. Are you going to go, Saud? Oh, yeah, of course. Definitely, right? We have to be there, especially the food. Everything's uh, being uh, sold there. A lot of crafts, a lot of uh, music we're going to have. So hopefully all of you guys can join us and come out down in Plaza El Camarón and be part of this uh, event and at the same time be helping the community. Yeah. Yes, and actually, uh, I think that it's a really good time to to share with friends and uh, have this community uh, stronger. And uh, well, uh, we're just getting to the end of the program, but I can just don't comment that I want to thank uh, our new sponsor that we don't have the content yet. Actually, we have two new sponsors uh, for the program. Uh, one is Tequila Peñasco, that will be, would be uh, presenting some uh, of the places that you can find the, the tequila. You can uh, have some cocktails made with Tequila Peñasco, that is a great tequila. And this uh, February the 8th, uh, we're going to have, we're having Rowdy Johnson, uh, it's uh, country music. Uh -huh. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna um, gonna be on the satisfied frog in the Malecon area, 
and they have a really exquisite cuisine, I can tell. Uh, we have to try it. I, we, I, won't, I won't say anything until I try it, so we have to go there and, and uh, try it. But this coming up, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday, they're having this big event on their own. And actually, uh, during the week, we're gonna, we are producing some uh, content for Tequila Peñasco. Then uh, wait for the next week because we're going <laughs> to have surprises. It's, it, we're going to start doing uh, kind of uh, visits to, to bars and restaurants uh, sponsored by Tequila Peñasco. And, uh, well, I, I don't want to say anything else, but we can, we're going to have beautiful girls in the program. And we're going to have a lot of surprises for you, so make sure you keep track of us because we'll be going all over in Puerto Peñasco. Wherever they serve tequila Peñasco, we'll be there. And I think that many restaurants will think and have uh, tequila Peñasco uh, as a drink there. Definitely. I mean, that attracts it uh, being a, a good tequila. And also, if you're making some kind of drink with it, I mean, it's, it's going to be better because you're using the right and, and good tequila. Exactly, exclusive to Puerto Peñasco, the, the tequila Peñasco, it's perfect. It's the right time to, to have it when you come down to Peñasco. And uh, Lourdes Rivera. Lourdes Rivera is the makeup specialist. Then we're gonna, we're gonna, we are having some models uh, and they're gonna, they are gonna receive the makeup from one of the best of the best in, in all the state of the Sonora. Oh, awesome. So all those things are happening. Follow us. Make sure you keep track of us because we're going to be everywhere. And if you want to know what's happening, just let, ask us. We'll Most likely we'll know what's happening throughout the whole city of Puerto Peñasco. And uh, actually we're going to, we're going to the whale watching also. Then that's next week, right? Next week. Yeah, we'll be bringing you some live footage from that as well. So make sure you keep track with us every Thursday. We'll be bringing out these segments and we'll have a lot of footage for you guys to check out. And hopefully maybe you want to come out to Peñasco and, and check that out for yourself with your own eyes because it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of things are coming on. We also have spring break coming up as well. So for our younger audience or for anyone who wants to come to Peñasco and, and have a blast, you know, we will be showing you <laughs> the best places in town to go to, the best places to hang out and where they are going to have specials. So make sure you keep track with us and you stay tuned with us. And we'll be giving you that insider information since we are here, the Guias of Puerto Peñasco for you. And this is, this is the guy going to take you to the best places to have party. I just going to go because I have to. I, it's not because I like the, the beautiful ladies or... The mm. phone or the music is just mm. because I have to take care about Saul. Yeah, we definitely have to. We will be chaperoning. Yeah. We won't. We won't go just to go, but we're gonna be chaperoning. So yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. I think that we have everything for for this Thursday, Thursday, January thirteenth, thirtieth, thirtieth, and uh, almost the end of the month here, and almost the end of the month. And well, we we are preparing you a great show for next Thursday, and we are going to bring you another surprise with another uh, local restaurant where you can come and and definitely be uh, assured that it's a good food, a good price, and good service. That's what we are, are looking at in all the places that we go. Yeah, absolutely. So that you will get here with the with Rocky Point Guide here on Hola Rocky Point, so you can. Always expect us to give you that good information and you will ensure that you have the best food at the best prices because when you have both of those together, your trip coming down here is absolutely wonderful. Definitely. So save yourself the money and treat yourself to the great cuisine that we have here in Puerto Peñasco. So stay tuned with us because we will be bringing you that inside information. Okay, that'd be So thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please share this uh, video with all your friends so that they know what's happening. And, and keep a, a track of us. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday at the same time. So don't forget, share uh, this uh, link so people can see what's happening here in Puerto Peñasco. Saul. Hello, this is Saul Santos. And myself, Leon Nava, and this was... Hola, Hola Rocky, Rocky Point. Point.